Hello friends, this is the continuance of the last video on DT exec. Uh, and in the last video we had seen how we can execute our packages from the command prompt utility DT exec. Here we will just try to see how we can use the set parameter to override variables value at the runtime. So we are using the same package again. Uh, what we what the change that we are going to do is add a variable serve and map it to a string value of a server this is the default server and then using the expression if you have, have seen my video on expressions you would uh, you must be knowing how we can uh, map a variable with the help of expressions uh, at the runtime so we are going to map the servers value for the connection string uh, from the serve variable so that's what we are going to do so we've added the expression also this will, this will allow the server to, uh, to be flexibly overridden the next thing we do is we build this package from the SQL server side we had the table uh, on this uh, so, uh, in default instance uh, let me connect I have a second instance also so this is a second instance of a server running on my machine and it uh, also has the dev database so what I'm going to do is create the same table on the second instance of server against the same database so if you see the databases remain intact and so it, it's a kind of uh, you could say a POC or a kind of a thing where we have a dev environment and a, a production environment where name of the databases are same the server that it points to is, are different so we can we could consider that example here uh, now if we if we see what we have here is we will be running the package placed at our deployment folder and we will override the value of the server so if you see if we run uh, what we do is we are using the dt exec and hyphen uh, hyphen or front slash f which indicates the file path where the executable uh, or the dtsx uh, package is placed next we what we do is we say front slash uh, set so the set parameter if you see is uh, something uh, which is defined uh, which overrides the variables value so we say set package uh, backslash package dot variables user colon colon serve and the value uh, and after a semicolon we say uh, the value whatever we want to override it against so if we say uh, Keshav Singh it will be running against this server so if we run this package right now if we check we have an entry but it is not the same here the next thing we do is let's run it against our second ins second instance perfect now if we see you're going to have get an entry against uh, the second instance also so so the set parameter is very useful for you when you're trying to override a, a variables value uh, dynamically at the runtime uh, with, uh, from the command prompt utility you could directly use this parameter and, and, and point to uh, or, or set a variables value uh, it, as the way you like so here it's, it's, it's a very uh, simple POC to show you that you can run against a uh, against a development environment or a QA environment or a test environment uh, at the runtime by simply overriding the server's value. Uh, I, I really hope uh, this will be helpful uh, to you. Thank you friends.